Hello there. Now we're going to be looking at step two. So step one, you've all completed. So the adults have registered with a club and you've now been given the green light to go ahead and register your children. So first and foremost, back onto the website, www.brombrandeasternjfc.co.uk. And you'll see that our website's starting to come along nicely. Over on the right hand side, click login and those lovely details that you entered earlier on you should be able to log back in now and here's a test to see if you can remember that password that you set up so once you've logged in successfully you should hit the player uh, the parent dashboard and remember we talked about managing your profile and some of the other stuff on there what we're now going to look to do is the next step, which is registering your child or children with the club. So down at the bottom, click on go. You are then asked for step one is to put in your player's date of birth. So first and foremost, if you go and do that, there's a test for me to remember my kids and when they were born. And there we go. So for the date of birth you have entered we have found the following players already in the system if you are the parent of any of these players please select the correct ones to take ownership of their profile so if i look at this now i've done this as a bit of a test for you so there are two ways of doing the system if the details are already in and you're looking at it at a later date then you could go in and you can claim that child more often than not though there's going to be nothing for you to do and i will demonstrate as such so I'll put in a different date of birth on here, uh, which should hopefully bring us back a zero result. Nice and straightforward, a few steps to complete. So enter your child's details into the form, select an agenda, then select the team. You notice how they've all got next year. So from September, 21 you will then be able to put in the the team name what it's going to be so if i go down here and select the sharks position leave that as not applicable it's not really appropriate for for junior football um, but you can see it has got positions in there but just leave it as blank your manager will be able to sort that out with your later date um upload a photograph um, if you hit select on there you'll be able to go into your files um, and and find an appropriate photo to upload all we ask is you keep it on a plain background doesn't really matter what the color is um, but a white background is preferable something clean and we're looking for head and shoulders shot not a full body uh, no actions no imitations no gimmicks no nothing um, just a nice straightforward photo to do if you're doing this on your phone you should find that you have actually got uh, an option to take a live photo so if you haven't got one ready you should be able to just snap away and update that fan number please put in your players fan number into the system on here if you haven't got that uh, make sure you go onto the track and trace register and you can find it there if you are struggling ask your team manager they've got a list of all the fan numbers as well that they can help you out with then choose the next answer this is around your children in the club if you've only got one child at the club please use the top option if this is the eldest child in the club that you're now registering select that one and then surprise surprise if it's a younger child it doesn't matter if you've got two three four or twelve younger kids then select that option again this will help us when we look at the payments at a later date to make sure that we're charging you correctly if you make an error on here it can be changed at a later date but please uh, make sure if it's only child you click that one eldest that one and any other children click that one as well and you're good to go school year make sure on your school year this is as of september that's coming so september 2021 not the one that's just gone so select your, your year on there school so also put the school in as of september 2021 as you'll see we've had many issues with covid over the last 12 months this information has been crucial in making sure we contact the right parents um as and when we need to okay to support with first aid and our child welfare um, anything you'd like to disclose at this point this is what you can put in here if you haven't got anything to disclose or there's no medical issues put in uh, any into that as well 
Okay, then uh, just as you did last year for any existing members, it's just making sure that you agree to the code of conduct and read the handbook. Make sure you do read that through. Um, you can select that through the members portal, which you've all got access to. Make sure you've read it. And then you just select, yes, I agree to uphold. If you do type in no and you disagree, please get in contact with your manager, explain why that you disagree. So we can start to look at how we can process your application. Then finally, it's just the acknowledgement uh, from the capture of the photographs to put on the team's website to share with the team. That's not the photo that you just uploaded. That's really for the player profiles. The next step for the club is to register everyone with the FA and upload everyone to the FA. So we're all ready for the leagues for next year again. That's what that photo is for. This is around general uh, photographs um, that you might use on the team's website address that should be going in there as well put your town in select your country again i'll actually put the right one in this time for cheshire and put that postcode and you're done if you hit register at that point that will go into the background and get that done when you've clicked on that you can now see that you're back to the starting point note on here down at the bottom now please read this yellow banner please note your child is listed below as not registered this isn't because you've done anything wrong it's because it now goes off to the club and your team manager will then approve that joining to the team okay so down below it says uh, the, the player that you've registered, in this case Phoebe, the team that you've done uh, and all the details that are in the background, you can then as that parent go and use that cog and amend or edit any details. But at this point, it will then go off um, for, for the team manager to acknowledge. Once that's done, uh, you'll be able to come back here at any point into your dashboard and update any child details. If you made any mistakes and your team manager points that out, you can do that as well. But once it's done, uh, you'll be there and you'll be able to see them all. And then your next step, so the next tutorial that you're going to see is around the payments and making sure that you're clicking into the payments option and you set up your direct debit mandate. So we'll do a different tutorial for that as well. Any questions, reach out, speak to your team manager, get in contact with one of the committee, use the account guys that are on here or anything you can pick up the internet and we're all good to go. Thanks a lot.